Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to my second part of my tutorials for stop motions, setting up, well, the stop motion. Alright, here is the storyboard. So this is, consists of two parts, the storyboard and the um, setting. Alright, so the storyboard shows, it's just it doesn't have to be anything really big, just a little chart thing. Uh, I filled this in and name of story, test stop motion number six. What type of story is like a stop motion or machinima or whatever you people want to do? Um, page number one. Um, this is like if you have multiple pages of these sheets to help you organize it. Um, here's what clip number one on page. So, page one, clip one. Page two would be the first box, would be probably clip four, then five, and six. And forget what I mean. Setting. I put dresser because, well, the stop motion is going to be on the dresser, like usual. Object slash characters needed. This is where you put, like, whatever figures you need, or if it's a machine, who do you, or what uh, type of Spartans or whatever you need to be able to do this with. Um, I have grunt, Spartan, battle rifle, needler. Here's an image, grunt shooting, Spartan shooting, battle thing. Details, and this is where you write what the picture is about, or what this, it's going to be in this little clip thing scene. Details, it's fighting, goes on, the Spartan ends up killing the grunt. Notes, use pink toothpicks for needler. Use clay for gunfire, and use sticky tack for grunt blood. Notes are sort of things that like, help you remember to, what to do for certain situations. Right? And then that's pretty much the way it, it's all you have to really have to make. It's not that hard. Um, all right, now we get on to the setting, the more fun part of this video, in, in a way, I guess. The storyboards are optional, settings are not. Alright. Oh no, I just whacked the Spartans. Spartans, are you alive? Oh no, he died. I killed him. Anyway, your setting is very important. If you're just doing a test stop motion or robot chicken, or I don't know, something that doesn't need to be really detailed, you can use your dresser. If it looks good like mine. If you got like a close up of the wall, I don't know if that looks so good or something, but this is this looks pretty good for a scene, you have to admit. It's got my colors and yeah, it's pretty good. Um, try to not make your background too distracting. Like, um, pretty, um, detailed backgrounds are great, but don't, like, put, like, tons of little stuff on all, all over it, because that'd be way too take away from your actual figures. Alright, and if you're just gonna have, like, color backgrounds, pick a color that would clash against your figure so it would stick out better. Orange goes against blue. Blue goes against yellow. I was going to put him on that side and him on that side, but he would kind of blend in, and he would sort of not really stick out as much. So I think it, it, it'd be better if it was this way, because they could stick out more, right? It makes sense. All right, um, what else? If you're not going to have a simple setting like mine, you're going to need, like, a sheet around the house, maybe a quilt or a blanket, but preferably a sheet, um, blue, grayish sky color, unless it's, like, apocalypse and you can do red. Or if you're in space, you could do black. And just like drape that against the back, and then like put cart or um, not cart or yeah, car no, not cardboard. Uh, construction paper, like suns and clouds and stars, depending on what you're doing. Nukes flying through the air, pigs flying, runs with jetpacks. I don't know, whatever your little hearts desire. Um, and then next thing, there's, there's three layers to each, a good scene. Um, you put. A bl another sheet or a blanket, this one doesn't really matter as long as it's not like detailed. Like got details on it, it doesn't matter, if, or it shouldn't be detailed up here either. If it's just like, um, if you're in the desert, right, you have a blue sky, a good huge sun out, not many clouds. Then you're doing sand, like brown or light tan or yellow or whatever. And then you put in your main thing, which might be cardboard setting or a battlescape if you're doing mega blocks. So that would be an example for that. If you're in space, you might put this all black with stars, um make, like, put cardboard here, make it all black, I don't know, maybe, like, put some sheets here, that would be smooth, kind of, make it look more circular instead of, like, square meeting, like that, mm, it's all up to whatever you prefer, arctic, put blue skies, tons of clouds, I don't know, um, white sheet, and then a cold place, I don't know, whatever your little hearts desire, I forgot to say, right here in the middle, that's, like, the main area, um, that's where the actual figures will be and where they'll be fighting. Here's kind of like a background. Here's like the sky or whatever. So yeah, now that you know what you're doing, 
um, watch my next tutorial video, and I'll teach you how to do anim the or like the animation part of it, like how many pictures you should take, how or not how many pictures. That'd be the fourth one. The third one will be like um, how to make like needle blasts or battle rifle blasts or explosion smoke, flying grunts. Again, the flying grunts. But thank you for watching and check out my next tutorial.